baking of the cake, how long did that take? It took five hours from start to finish. Am I, am I really that special? Yeah, the Michi tea is that special. I'm that special. <laughs> now, the first time I met Kimberly, guys, was, yes, it was Labor Day. Labor Day weekend, there I was, walking down Venice Boulevard. I was actually searching for a job. Yes, Venice Boulevard. The accident, it wasn't Venice Boulevard. It was Venice, the boardwalk. The boardwalk Venice. I'm such an idiot. So there I was, and all of a sudden, I, I saw this competition. And it was, it was bodybuilder competition. I was like, there's no way. And I was like, so I walked out, I was like, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here because I'm not feeling this. Like, I don't, who cares? But all of a sudden, out pops, there's like Kimberly, walk down. She pops down, she walks, works it, works it. I was like, there's no way. I was like, she has to come on the Mitchie T show. She's gonna be a star. She's huge, she's a big star. So I walk up to her and I go, I want you on the radio. She's like, the radio? She's like, I'm, she slaps her backside, slaps the backside. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I was like, did you just do that? She's like, yes. I'm the youngest one out here. I'm 19 years old. <laughs> Saws is rock. I was like, you have got to come on my show. She's like, the radio, come on on. And boom, you're here. So how are, how are you liking the Mitchie T show so I like far? I like it. Mitchie T is a pretty chill guy. He's a pretty chill guy, yeah. see? You know what? You're fantastic. You do so much. Right now, you're going to college. Go ahead and tell us where you're going to college at again, exactly. Um. In less than a month, I'm gonna start going to um, ultrasound school. So um, ultrasound, see? Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. How many bodybuilders do you know that go to ultrasound school? I know. I got a, brains. Is it, yeah. She's got brains. Brain. She's got brains. She's got look. She's got. <laughs> she's got the right personality to get on the Mitchie T. I don't ask everybody to get on the show. Like you, you know, you have to be invited, and she got the invite because that in, she also bakes. Oh yeah. So you can't do that, you know. Hello, we are back right here with me, Michi T. Yes, we're here live. We're doing an interview, of course, with Kim. Go ahead and say your last name. Kim. Kim Bermudez. Kim Bermudez. See, she's really shy. I'm trying to break her from the shy. This is the first time on the radio. First time on the radio, correct? Correct. Is that... So, out of all the things that you want to do, what, what made you... And you also bake cakes, correct? I love how, baking cakes. How long have you been baking cakes for? Uh, my whole life. <laughs> Your whole life. And, 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 and it's true that you can't even eat one. It's true. So why not bake it's them? True. Right? Right. And you also said that you want to open your own bakery. Yes, that's my real passion. That really? Yeah. Not, not, so from all the, all the 3,000 things that she does, <laughs> all, you know, baking, baking would be great for you. Yes, I've always wanted to go to um, culinary school since I was like little, and I always wanted it was easy. To since I was little, since yeah. I, <laughs> since I was little, yeah. so, this is perfect. This is perfect. And you brought your father today, I did. Yeah, Father Joe, correct? Right? Yeah, he did. must be so proud of you. Is he? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I guarantee he's proud of you, like, and like, you're doing your thing, and the competition that I, 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 I uh, stumbled upon you on, of course, did you, you took, what, first place? What did you take yeah. first place in? I took first place in two categories, actually. Who? Um, open figure and novice figure. Open figure and novice figure. Okay, what, okay, do explain, I, I do explain the figure, open figure, okay. yeah, yeah, because I don't know about this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know about women? Yeah, huge. Yeah. Well, figure is one level underneath women's body. Oh, ah, that's what your level at. Yep. yep. Figure, okay. I, I figured big. that. Yeah. yeah. It's not as big as um, the body. Yeah, she's not big. See, flex that muscle. Okay. See? see? <laughs> there it is. See, guys? She's just fit and solid. She's yeah. not like the juicy, roidy. Right. Yeah, no, exactly. I don't take no. anything in my natural. Exactly. She, I can tell. I, don't I can even tell. like shakes or bars. Or and she's natural tan. Yeah, like she, yeah, she tan. always <laughs> says, she always says, I'm the natural tan one. Yeah. Everyone else is out there, like you know, Very orange, orange. <laughs> oranging it up. We don't do that here. No, see, I don't like orange people on my show. I don't do orange people on my show. Like we don't do that. Not here on the Michi T show. You know, why would we do that? No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Is there, is there anything that you would like to do in like as far as entertainment? Yeah, oh, sure. Of course. Whoa. Yeah, why not? Well, like, do explain, would you, would you do, would you like to go into film? 
Sure. Well, who, well, who wouldn't, right? This is Hollywood. Uh-huh. You, you grew up here, like, all your life, correct? Yeah, in the Los Angeles area. Near the Los Angeles area. That's mm-hmm. that's good enough. <laughs> yeah. That's I think that's good enough. I think near the Los Angeles area does equal Los Angeles area. It because does. Because this is the biggest, <laughs> smallest, uniquest city in all the world. Like, you know eight people in this city. You know the whole world. Mm-hmm. So it's crazy. And what what motivated you to want to do bodybuilding? Um... Funny story. I was just watching um, something on television, a documentary about some girl who uh, who had changed her life completely, entered a, a competition, and she, she went from average looking to really fit, and I figured, well, I could do that too. And, and you did. I did. And you did. And you did. You did. You transform your body into what we see today. Uh-huh. It's and like, how long have you been doing it physically? Like uh, physical training. Training. About almost a year and a half now. Wow. Yeah. So do you like it? Do you like the yeah. training? Because it motivates you to do more stuff, right? Training, Doesn't it? Yeah. Well, you know, you have your good days and your bad days. But um, you know, you get through it. Yeah. yeah exactly. It's, it's tough. Oh, it's, no it's, kidding. <laughs> You, and, and matter of fact, you have one more competition. Go ahead and tell us about your yeah. competition coming up. Um, one more competition for this year. It's, uh, and then she's going to retire. She's going to retire. <laughs> she's done. She's made all the money. Right? No. Well, done for this year. My body needs a break. I've been competing all year long. Yeah. But uh, it's um, October 30th in San Diego. October th- oh wow, San Diego, San different Diego. years, not in LA. Yeah. She's she already did the LA thing. She she killed it. She <laughs> ripped it. She took first place. That it's time to move on to San Diego and take it down there, right? Right. Just you're gonna dominate. You're gonna. I can see you if you really wanted to stay focused, uh-huh. like in this. And I can see you dominating, just in bodybuilding of your class, just in your class, like straight up, like you, you, you sense that too, right? Of course. Of course, course. she's cock, she's a cocky one, <laughs> she's quite cocky. And so what does, when, when you bake cakes all your life, so when was the first, do you remember the first cake that you bake and how old you were? No. <laughs> you, never remember, you don't remember the Betty Crocker days? Oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, Betty. She a lot. Um, I remember in like middle school I used to get real creative with the Betty Crocker. <laughs> oh yeah? yeah? Oh wow. Wow. Uh, I don't know. I just I would make fake things every week. And... You would just bake and bake and see it. I, you know, I will not bake. I mean, <laughs> that's just, you, you know how to do it. You're like, I'm a bodybuilder, you're a certified trainer. You're, you're one with the arts of makeup. Yeah. That is an art. I can oh, see, yes, you, yes. I can definitely see she does her own makeup. <laughs> Perfect, see? <laughs> <laughs> she gets real shy. She's really, she's so shy. Like, oh, really as, she's shy of cameras too, so. But, she's here. I, I, I'm really impressed that you wanted, wanted to come on and you're like, yeah, why not, right? That, why not the radio? Does it, does it feel good? It is. And are you excited about your next competition? Yeah. Because yeah. it's the last one. You're like, I can finally eat sweets. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's the best. I you know what? I'm really disappointed in my my boy Raisin Man. He's not here. He you know he just got the driver's license, so he's probably out driving around. It's a big day. It was a big day. We found out yesterday. He took the test and got the driver's license, and he found out the resorts, and he passed. I couldn't believe he passed, and well, that's good, because you know, now he can start driving me around, because, right, right? right. Do you remember your first, your, when you got your driver's I license? Do, yeah. It wasn't that far along, was it? It was, it was a long time ago. Oh. <laughs> I think I was 16. So yeah, exactly. That was a exactly. few years ago. Exactly, I got mine when I was 16. Actually, I probably got it when I was 17, but <laughs> I, I like to lie, too, a lot. But I am, I'm not a liar. Okay, I'm a liar, I'm a liar. I like to lie a lot. But as, as for you, Kimberly, I, I know all your friends are out there listening and hearing. And I, I better I, be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, right? Yeah. Is, and what, where did you grow up exactly? Uh, what, I mean, what high school did you go to? I went to Glenn A. Wilson High School. Went to Glenn A. High School. Uh, the same high school that Bernie went to. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 
Wow, okay, okay. So, do you compare yourself to Fergie? No. <laughs> Because you're way, way, way better. She's way better. Like, she, she even admitted, okay, she even put on my wall on Facebook that Mitchie T is what? A firm believer. Oh. And lo <laughs> love at first sight. I was like, oh no, she had to put that. I was like, yeah, but okay, like, look at her. She knows how to bake. She can do makeup. Therefore, you know, girls are really bad at their makeup. Like, they can't do it, right? 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 They're really bad. Oh, yeah. It's, you're just like, hey, you need my help. I know. Right? You tap on the show, like, yeah, you can use. I wish, you know, I'm staying it behind her back. Yeah. And so, you do want to open a bakery. You're, you're serious about that. You're serious yeah, about that. I'm filthy, stinking rich, you know? Oh, yeah, that's my word. You filthy, stinking rich. I, I, that, she stole my line. <laughs> She, she's a, she's a, she's a, she steals lines. She does anything she wants, like basically, yeah, exactly. See, and uh, other, oh, you guys like that? Yes. I love this music. What is your um favorite kind of music of genre that you like to listen to? I listen to anything that sounds good. Oh yeah. Yeah, everything. I like anything with a good beat too. Like uh. I, I definitely uh, definitely can't complain about a good beat, mm -hmm. and uh, I like to dance. Do you like to dance? I like to dance. You can't can't go wrong with dancing. I used to take dance classes. Oh, would you take dance classes? I used to take hip hop. Hip hop? Yeah. In high school? Yeah, you know, the end of my um, the end of high school, I take hip hop and like Latin stuff. Latin stuff. Yeah. The Latin stuff. Right, hip the, action. The the Latin stuff. There's, probably, there's a lot more hip action than Latin stuff than oh, yeah, hip hop. I think so. Really? See, see the hip hop they, they they you know they know how to do that, but no. <laughs> the Latin is where it's at. The Latin is where it's at. See? I'm telling you. We're gonna we're gonna have lots more with Kimberly. Because she's the best. She's here and you know what? She bakes cakes. Like so you know what? Listen to this and we'll be right back. You're doing really well. So. We're gonna have to change the name of the show to the Mitchie T and Kimberly B show. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you're you're a great co-host. You know, you actually know what you're doing, and uh, and you look much better than me. So she looks she looks much better than me, guys. Like you look really nice. Oh my god, I want to take you on a date so bad. That's how bad. <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend right now? Um, just that. Yeah, you're you're seeing a guy, right? Yeah. Uh, like one, two, two weeks or something. Oh, it's like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're too cute. <laughs> are you, okay, from scale from one to ten, what are you right now? How are you feeling right now from scale from one to ten? I'm feeling like an eleven. An eleven? Point five. Well, I did say ten. <laughs> she's not that, hey, she's not that smart. Okay? She might be able to bake cakes. She might be able to work out. Might be able to do makeup. I mean, no good she's gonna change the world. <laughs> she's right here. She's gonna change the world. We all know that. I mean, you know. <laughs> and we are back right here with me, Mitchie T, right here. You cannot stop us from doing anything because you know why? No one can stop us. You know why? Because it's what you always wanted to listen to. Because you are listening right now. It's what you're gonna be watching. Because you can't get enough of us. And yes, because you know why? Do you know why, Kimberly? No, tell me. You haven't been listening? Because it's more than just music. It's more than just radio. This is the Mitchie T Show. I'm changing its name. Oh, wait, what do you... Oh, yeah, wait. During the break, <laughs> she said we're going to change the name. Let's go ahead and tell them what the new name is. The new name is the Mitchie T and the Kimberly B Show. Oh, I don't know, I'm going to have to check with my... Uh, I'm gonna have to check with the producer on that one. Oh wait, I am the producer. <laughs> well, I guess I guess it's a go because it's gonna be one heck of a show. You know, it's gonna be incredible. And uh, you know what? If she, she, you're allowed to come back, only on one condition. What's that? You have to bring a cake every time. Yeah. Oh, it, that, that's doable. That's, yeah, that's doable. I like it. it. It took you how long to make this cake? Five hours. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go to commercial break and then we're gonna bring in the cake and you're you're gonna oh my god this is amazing like we're we're gonna have to check out the cake because for all of you that are listening I know you can't see it but you can YouTube it on my YouTube page the Mitchie T Show yes YouTube 
dot com slash the Mitchie T show. And yes, all of you out there, I'm an open book. You can Facebook me. Yes, search the Mitchie T show on Facebook. Yes, you can MySpace me. That's MySpace dot com slash shy s h y zero zero two four. That's shy zero zero two four. And yes, follow me on Twitter because you know you want to. At Mitchie T twenty four seven. That's Mitchie T twenty four seven. How do you spell Mitchie? If you know how to spell Mitchie, it's M I T C H Y. And then the T, and then twenty four seven. You can't go wrong with that. Yes. And go ahead and. Tell all of our fine viewers out there how we can get a hold of you personally. If you wanted to get a hold of you personally, do you have? Um, you can email me at KimberlyBermudez90 at gmail.com. That's Kimberly Bermudez at 90, 90. at gmail.com. So why the 90? Is that one of your favorite numbers or you just had to pick that number? That's just to I get the email, born. right? Yeah. That's when you are born, yeah, see? Well, there's, see, 1990, 1990, 1990. So that would make you how old? 19. She's 19. Everybody, she's 19. This is her first time on the radio. I'm first popping time. her. I'm popping the cherry right here, mm -hmm. right here. This is the first time. Now, when you say, uh, as someone asks, you, have you ever been on the radio? You can say what? Yes. Yes, of course I have. The Mitchie T show. The Mitchie T show. Not just radio. It's more than just music. It's more <laughs> than just radio. It's the Mitchie T show. That was your first experience. Uh -huh. and they're gonna be like. What's the Mitchie T show? And then you can explain to them. Like you don't you can know. Be like you don't know. Whoa, yeah, exactly. You can get ruthless with it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like I like that. I like getting ruthless. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go take a commercial break. I know, I know. We hate taking commercial breaks, but we got to. It's sad. I know, but you know, you know what? Don't go nowhere. Cause I know you're gonna want to listen to me more. <laughs> That's right, we are back. And for all of you, the Jefferson Foundation. The Jefferson Foundation is located at 5470 West Washington Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90016. And the special Children and Family Resource Center is at 5443 West Washington Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90016. For additional information, to visit our center, or, yes, to donate, I love that word, donate a scholarship, please call Martha Way at 323-965-7536 or email at, if that's, yes, yes, we are back right here. I mean, we just can't get enough of Wallow right over there. Kimberly. Bermudez. Yes. <laughs> See, I, 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 you were on the spot in that one, like Kimberly Bermudez. Bermudez. And... Go ahead and tell us, once again, once again, what, I want to know for a fact, favorite ever competition that you've hit that, 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 yeah, this one's, ooh, this one's easy, wow, it was an easy question, I thought it would be hard, because I thought they'd be all fantastic, but obviously it's not, <laughs> it wasn't the one that you met me? Yeah, look, oh, look, oh. Yeah, really, it really was, yeah, look. wow, yeah, dude, do do tell why it was like okay um actually i didn't even know about the show the promoter joe wheatley emailed me personally and asked me to do this show and um joe wheatley he's a great guy one of the most sincere genuine people i've ever met and um this show it was an outdoor show it was at um it was an outdoor show at Venice beach and it was just so much fun because the atmosphere was so relaxed I, you know what? I had a great time. It, I, I mean, you know what? I got I got Ra Raisin Man out here in the lounge. He's coming in. My co-host has made it here. He's like, he texted me just now. Like, what are you doing, Raisin Man? Like, you should get in here. You know, they should know you by now. Like, you know, you should be on radar with that guy. I'm going to get to get him on the line because this is ridiculous, right? The co-host should be here, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, you know, yeah, he's been replaced. He has. Well, Raisin Man, you look like, looks like you have to duke it out. Hey, you should get in here. Raisin Man, if you can hear me, you should, see, he should be, he should be, he should be listening, right? Let's see here, let's see here, let's see if we can get him on here. Logan, where are you? Logan. Logan, come in. Logan. Logan, use though. He's coming, he's coming in. Hey, 
Hey, my station, I know you guys are listening to me right now. Get him in here. Get him in. We, his name's Raisin Man. Raisin Man. Raisin Man, where are you? I'm out in the back, dude. You lost the fun, dude. Wait, are you serious? I'm gonna come get you. I'm gonna come to get you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll some music. We're gonna, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna roll some music. We're gonna get him in here because this is insane. We, we gotta have him in here. We, you know what? Listen to this. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get him in here. Don't go in. Okay, we got a, we got a mission right here. We got a mission. We got a mission. We gotta get him in here. Where is he at? Right here? Right here. Where? No, 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 no. I'm looking for uh, the co-host. Wait, we're getting him. We're getting him. We're getting him. Oh, they locked it. They locked it back? Oh. Raise it. head. Come on, yeah. He's here. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, he's here. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, we, we did it. All right, cool. We made our way. All right. Okay, we're locked down the show right now. We're locking down the show. We made it. All right. Okay, we're back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Logan, Logan, you made it. Get in here. The Raisin Man has made it again. What happened? I don't even know what happened. I don't know. Stupid. Oh, what happened? This traffic? Was it traffic? Was it traffic? Stupid traffic again. Traffic again. And you know what? That's one thing a failure is about living in LA. Oh my God. There's the traffic. I've been there. I was 15 minutes late to my show, but I stayed 20 minutes late. So it doesn't It doesn't really matter, does it? Because we needed a 45 not. minute I mean... show. It's great. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we have to say goodbye. Kimberly, go ahead and say goodbye to all of LA and the rest of the world out there listening. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, world. That's <laughs> excellent. That sounds it, pretty tragic. Logan, do you have... Go ahead and tell them about your driver's oh. license. I, I told you about the driver's license. I just got my driver's license. Super stoked about that. I'm an actual human being now, you know, full-fledged adult. Yeah. And he can actually take his dates out yeah. because he has... A car to do that now. Yeah. So you know what? We're gonna have to go right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry out there, but we're gonna have to leave you guys once again. Tune in every Thursday, 6:30, for the Michi T Show. All right. Bye, guys. I can hear your thoughts like footsteps in the dark. The pain stirs in your voice, cuts like daggers to my heart. Refuse